Hello, hello.、Uh, nice to meet you.、Uh, I'm Ken Naganuma from Hitachi America in the US.、Uh, today,、uh, I'll talk about、uh, biometric secret key and its applications.、Uh, this is our company's product, and uh, uh, this is、uh, state of the art technology from Japan. Oh? Okay,、uh, let's start with my self introduction.、Um, my name is Ken Naganuma, and、uh, I belong to Hitachi America in the US, near here. And、uh, I joined Hitachi uh, 27, and uh, I have been involved with many projects. And、uh, from 2040,、uh, I,、uh, I'm in charge of developing blockchain technology. And uh, uh, 2020, I、uh, got a PhD from、uh, University of Tokyo. This is the first、uh, PhD from University of Tokyo about、uh, blockchain. And my research topic is blockchain and、uh, cryptography and、uh, mathematics. And、uh, the right hand side of the picture is、uh, my hobby. I'm interested in bodybuilding and men's physique. And、uh, last year, I won the Western USC Championship. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, today uh, I'd like to introduce uh, my company's product.、Uh, this is a, can you show this, Mega?、Uh, this is a finger vein authentication system. And、uh, you put your finger here,、um, there is an infrared camera in internal. So this camera scans your finger vein information, not fingerprint, finger vein information. And this device generates、uh, your original secret key from your finger vein information. And you can use this secret key as a cryptographic secret key. So you can、uh, make a digital signature or encryption or decryption key using that. This is your original secret key. And uh, uh, Hitachi has developed this technology about、uh, 20 years. So, in Japan,、uh, this technology already、uh, has been a practical use case for、uh, many Japanese banks、uh, employ this technology.、Uh, if you have a bank account in Japan,、uh, you can withdraw your money using your finger. Do not、uh, require a credit card or debit card or PIN number. All you need is your finger. You can withdraw your money. So, which means uh, uh, we achieve high security because、uh, bank system requires high security, high usability, high reliability. So, we achieve that. And、uh, now we'd like to expand our business to blockchain, web survey area. So, we are applying this technology to blockchain. And、uh, so, today、uh, I introduced two applications of our technology. The first one is recovery secret phrase. Uh, this is a new orientation of backup of a secret. And the second one is proof of origin for NFT. Only two applications today. Okay, let's start with recovery secret code.、Uh, what is secret,、uh, secret phrase? Sorry.、Uh, uh, I think、uh, you already know、uh, secret phrase、uh, because this is a blockchain conference, but uh, I uh, reviewed that. Uh, secret phrase, sometimes we call it the recovery phrase, and mnemonic phrase, or pass phrase, and so on. And this is the most important uh, uh, information your、uh, crypto wallet.、Uh, you make a crypto wallet, then you、uh, enter your secret words about 12 or 24.、Uh, this is the most important and sensitive information for your wallet. Uh, you know,、uh, if you lose your smartphone or PC, you'd like to recover your account, then you enter this secret phrase.、Uh, so, if you lose your, uh, uh, if you leak your secret phrase, then your wallet is not your wallet. Because、uh, if I get your secret phrase, then、uh, I can install my PC to your wallet and I can take over your wallet information so I can send your cryptocurrency to my wallet. So, secret phrase is the most important information for your wallet. You know.、Uh, why is、uh, management secret phrase so difficult?、Uh, there are two difficulties. The first one is do not leak. I already mentioned、uh, if you leak your secret phrase, then your wallet is my wallet. So, do not leak. 
And the second one is do not lose. Uh, if you lose your uh, secret phrase, uh, you cannot recover or you cannot take over your wallet to another one. So uh, do not leak and do not read. This is uh, very important. Um, uh, today, uh, but uh, we can solve these inconveniences. We can solve that. Uh, by the way, uh, do you have crypto wallet? Oh, there are many. And uh, can you show your secret phrase? <laughs> no? No. Oh, OK. You should keep that. You should keep the secret. Uh, but today, uh, I'd like to show my uh, secret phrase of MetaMask. I will show this right 10 seconds. Please take a photo. <laughs> you have a big chance. You can get all my Ethereum. Ether. <laughs> this is a big chance for you. Uh, this is binary data uh, uh, secret and uh, the same one as the QR code. Uh, can you take a photo? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, of course, you know, uh, this is not my uh, original uh, true uh, secret phrase. This is encrypted my finger bank information. So if you get this data, you cannot uh, get any information about my secret phrase. Uh, but do not delete your photo. Now I back up my uh, secret on your smartphone. So the, if you lose my secret phrase and uh, an event of emergency, I call you. <laughs> and please send your picture to me. I can recover a uh, secret phrase using my finger and this device. So please do not delete your photo. Oh, uh, animation is uh, how to? Animation is uh, finished. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> um, I, uh, can we uh, use my animation? Oh, um, the previous slide. Uh, okay, uh, please delete the, the center picture. <laughs> okay, I say uh, okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, this is not important. <laughs> and uh, I, we'd like to <laughs> we'd like to launch a new uh, secret management system for backup. Uh, you uh, use uh, this device under your finger, and you encrypt your secret, and you distribute or put a, a cloud server or your friend's smartphone under your our service uh, uh, database. And uh, this is a new uh, service for management of secret. And uh, the event of emergency, you download uh, your encrypted secret phrase and recover uh, your secret using this device. Uh, this is our new uh, service model of backup of secret. So uh, we believe we can solve uh, inconveniences of secret, key, uh, secret phrase management. Uh, because uh, I already mentioned uh, our system, uh, your secret phrase is encrypted. So we can recover your secret. Recover means you can put many places. So you can distribute your secret, encrypted secret phrase in many places. So it means you can never lose it. So we can solve, uh, do not leak, do not lose. Uh, this is a new orientation of uh, secret, key, uh, secret phrase management. So this is a brand new idea, and uh, we create completely new architecture. OK, let's show a short demonstration, very, very short demonstration. Thank you. And uh, now I encrypt my secret phrase. I register two fingers. Uh, this is uh, encrypted uh, cipher text of doc, cat, and AAA. 
and uh, uh, you put this uh, encrypted phrase uh, many places, and uh, the event of emergency, you download this text, uh, encrypted text. and decrypt it. Dog cat AAA. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, uh, sometimes uh, uh, fail. Oh, OK, uh, please change. Um, um, this picture shows uh, uh, our core technology, and uh, if, uh, you may be interested in your technology. Uh, uh, our key generation module, you input your finger bang uh, date. Then this uh, module output the secret key, your finger, uh, make, uh, which made by your biometrics future. So uh, the second time you input your finger, then the same secret key is uh, outputted. Uh, this is very uh, difficult because uh, uh, finger bay information from camera always has small fluctuations, so we have to observe that. So this is very uh, difficult, and uh, only our company achieved that. And uh, uh, you may think, uh, what is the difference from the ordinary uh, conventional biometric authentication? The top picture shows uh, ordinary, uh, like a face ID or a touch ID or my phone, uh, no, uh, biometric authentication. You input your fingerprint, uh, for example. Then uh, stored fingerprint images calculate a matching score. And the matching score is higher than some threshold. Then uh, stored secret key is activated. Uh, this is the uh, ordinary uh, biometric authentication. So this secret key is uh, uh, nothing to do with your biometrics data. So this secret key is uh, randomly generated by smartphone or PC. So if you lose your smartphone, you also lose your secret key. You cannot uh, recover that. But our system, uh, you can generate uh, your secret key on software layer using our device. Then uh, if you lose your smartphone or PC, then no problem because uh, uh, you buy another smartphone and uh, install the same application, then you can generate the same secret key. Um, so this is a new architecture of secret key management. Okay, uh, the second application, uh, proof of origin for NFT. Uh, this is a sh very, very short uh, presentation. And uh, now uh, I uh, introduced the secret key management, and the, but this is another application. Uh, now uh, we are applying this technology to NFT. You know NFT. Uh, our technology allows you can generate uh, your digital signature using your finger. So uh, uh, this secret key is generated by your fingers. Then we can prove this digital signature uh, come from your finger, which means uh, we can achieve uh, like an uh, autographed signed board in the physical world. So, some, for example, some sports, um, famous sports player uh, generate his or her NFT. Then uh, he or she put uh, his finger, my device. Then he can generate his uh, digital signature from his finger. That is uh, just autographed sign. So we, can, uh, be, uh, we believe that this technology make a variable NFT for fun. And now we are applying this technology to the NFT market. And uh, today, uh, I have a demonstration of that. And if you have an interest in this uh, technology, uh, please catch me after the session. OK, thank you for your uh, attention. Okay. And if there's any questions, I have a question, though. Can you tell us a little bit about which Hyperledger projects you're ah, using? Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> sorry, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your mention. And uh, uh, now, uh, of course, uh, we apply this technology to Hyperledger Fabric and Hyperledger Indy. So today, I introduced the uh, management of the secret phrase. 
But uh, now this technology can apply not only secret phrase, but also secret key or some other secret information. Now, uh, we already applied this technology to Hyperledger Fabric's secret key and uh, Hyperledger uh, Indies uh, wallet data. So, uh, unfortunately, today, uh, uh, lack of time, so I cannot uh, introduce that. But um, um, actually, we have a product for uh, key management system using this device for Hyperledger Fabric. Thank you. <laughs> There's a great um, uh, presentation that the team did at Hyperledger Global Forum, um, uh, really focusing down on, on the technology side. Um, any questions? Hi, I'm Hi. Mori Mira. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, nice meeting you. Um, so yesterday I did a presentation on an elder wand, so wanted to know if that biometric is transferable to another physical as asset, like items or merchandise, or is it are you only able to do it currently on the? Uh, you mean the now uh, another uh, for another model like a uh, face or? Uh, so like let's say if you want to put it on um, an item like a wand or like a um, like any kind of other merchandise, so that if um, let's say another company wants to use your biometric to uh, unlock their uh, decentralized ID or or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it possible to use that? Yes, or? yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, um, I think this is uh, just the user authentication uh, you can use. Uh, so so we can apply many uh, applications. For example, in Japan, uh, actually, bank system employ that system. So on the other system, uh, you enter the building facility, then uh, you put your finger, and uh, yeah, yeah, so. No, uh, just uh, my uh, curious, uh, my interest in blockchain. So now I uh, apply that blockchain area. So. Mm. Hi, Ken. Uh, I'm just curious um, whether the your finger vein would remain the same from the day you was born until after death? Um, you mean the uh, finger? The finger vein, yeah. right? W whether whether it w remains the same from the day you was born oh. until after death. Uh, that's very. <laughs> <laughs> or or what happened when you get injured? <laughs> okay, uh, I uh, at first uh, the first question. Uh, actually, we uh, bank, Japanese bank system in that, and uh, we recommend uh, you should uh, register one year, per one year. And also for child, change uh, rapidly, so a uh, half year, you should register again. Uh, but uh, uh, our uh, experimental uh, the in adult, uh, 10 years, uh, you cannot uh, change. Uh, you do not change the uh, finger vein data. So yeah, but uh, we recommend now uh, one year register. And the second question, if you uh, cut your finger, uh, the first, you have to go to hospital. <laughs> and uh, uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, if you lose your finger, it's a uh, big problem for you. But uh, in that system, not so problem because you register two finger or three fingers. Yes. So thank you. <laughs> you have ten of them to get through. <laughs> I just have a really quick clarification, sir. Uh, did you say finger vein or did you say fingerprint? I'm you sorry? say finger vein that's actually being identified on the finger, not the fingerprint. Is that not right? Not fingerprint. Not fingerprint. Finger, finger vein. vein. Okay. Yes. Oh, gotcha. uh, uh, the reason why we employ finger vein is uh, I think uh, fingerprint is not secure. You know, uh, you uh, upload your uh, picture in your Instagram, uh, we can extract your fingerprint information. Uh, but the uh, finger vein. Uh, you uh, the internal data, so we uh, that is uh, difficult to extract the finger vein information using. Uh, so actually, we use uh, infrared uh, special camera. So, uh, we think, for example, uh, yeah, you know, uh, we think uh, fingerprint is not secure. So, if somebody were to get a copy of your finger vein, however means they they do it, then mm. they can basically use that as it means the key to make NFTs using your name. Mm. Is mm. that right? I'm sorry? So once somebody gets a copy, the image, 
of your finger vein, mm. however that is done, mm. uh, they can basically use that to generate that key. Yes. To uh, to uh, if someone make a completely uh, complete uh, copy, then uh, he can use uh, my secret key. Of course, uh, that is not a problem. Uh, that is not only our biometrics authentication, but also all biometrics authentication has the issue. same problem. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah but the, thing, uh, the copy of finger bank is very difficult. Well, all, all, all the other stuff they do is put a little device in the little sensor. Ah, uh, you know, uh, uh, you mean the hacker does it? Put it in there. And some hacking you know, malware yeah. installed our device. So, like the credit cards, you know, they put the credit cards in the ATM machines, put it the credit card in, and they copy the information. So they, the same same idea. Put a little bug into your little machine. Mm. You copy your finger vein information, and they mm. gotcha. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just a thought. Yeah. yeah. Please use uh, anti malware out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm really excited um, about when my uh, Japanese baseball NFT is coming, Ken. <laughs> I think I asked for one of those the last time I saw the demo, which I think is a great demo. Really, if you think about autographing and authenticity with the physical objects, and if we could tie it you know, into um, a biometric signature on an NFT of that then is a digital representation of the physical item that you have, I think it's a really fantastic and fun use case as well. So, Ken, thank you so much for presenting today and for sharing some of the work that you've done. So I want to thank everybody again uh, for joining the Hyperledger Symposium. Um, as I mentioned before, the Hyperledger Foundation is an open community. We encourage all of you to participate. If you are building using Hyperledger Tech today, come on over to the booth if you haven't talked to us yet and tell us what you're building, and we'd love to hear from you. Um, if you want to participate, go to hyperledger.org. Um, there's special interest groups, there are working groups, there's projects. I mean, you can have a lifetime of information and fun within our community, and I encourage you to do that. Uh, do come and visit us. We're going to be here for a little bit while longer, um, and I look forward to seeing you all in the Hyperledger Foundation Global Community, and thanks again for staying today.